All right, some difficult material to talk about today. We'll be back to normal hockey videos later, but this is a very important news story. I will be sticking strictly to facts, but I'm also not going to sugarcoat things. It's been alleged that members of the 2018 Canadian World Junior Team committed a group sexual assault in London in June of 2018. This has been basically a developing story since then. People have decried the lack of justice, and it seems like finally the cogs are moving within the Canadian criminal justice system. Rick Westhead put out a great article summarizing the situation, which I'll link down below. In short, it's alleged that five players assaulted an unconscious woman. There's apparently a video of the assault. Rick Westhead spoke to the agent of one individual on the team who said he was in the room when it happened. He didn't know how to process what he saw, whether it was consensual or assault, and was too afraid to intervene, so he left. And that's been the defense as well. The players, as represented by their lawyers, remained, at least until today, anonymous and have said that the interaction was consensual. The investigation by police started in 2018. It was reopened in 2019. Since then, we've gotten small bits of news. However, the biggest development by far is that today, the London police, and that's London, Ontario, ordered five players of the 2018 World Junior Team to surrender on charges of sexual assault. Those players have not been named. However, five players have recently requested leave from their current teams. It obviously isn't a certainty that these are the five players, and I want to kind of reiterate that, but the conclusion is certainly clear. Three days ago, Dylan Dubé requested leave from the Flames, citing mental health reasons. Yesterday, Carter Hart took leave from the Flyers, citing personal reasons. Today, it was New Jersey giving Michael McLeod and Cal Foot leave with no further comment, and Alex Formanton, who now plays in Switzerland, has also been granted leave for the purposes of returning to Canada. Hart, Dubé, Foot, McLeod, Formanton, those are the five names going around. Obviously, these are just allegations. We don't even know for sure whether they are against these players. Those are the facts. However, what's also true, and this is the tough part, is that hockey, sports, everything has a bad history of covering up, allowing, and facilitating assault of this type and others. I'm just going to rattle off some fun facts. Hockey Canada has historically maintained a fund to pay for lawsuits, including those related to sexual assault. There's a history of really disturbing cases across the NHL and other leagues. The Fifth Estate put out an article called Sex and Shame in Canada's National Game, which states that there have been at least 15 group sexual assault cases relating to junior hockey players since 1989. I will link to that as well down below. That's to say nothing of the history of players being abused, the forced silence within organizations, and more. I'm fully in support of letting the justice system do its own thing, believing everyone deserves their day in court. However, I believe all the facts, the full context, is important when looking not just at this situation, but hockey and society as a whole. A lot of people are also pretty frustrated, and I'll say that's putting it lightly, because the NHL put out a big public relations statement about a potential expansion team in Utah, and just generally, they've been making lots of announcements about the All-Star Game. People see this as a pretty transparent method to avoid the negative publicity. Not trying to be preachy, just my thoughts. But that's all I've got for today. Let me know your opinions, your feelings, anything else down below. By the way, on the side of this video, I'll also put a a related charity. If this story or more likely one of the articles I've included down in the description stirs you, you can click and donate.